importante que eu com vocês Estou aqui em São Paulo Então, OG, eu vou ir Where am I going? Eu vou ir um lugar chamado We Coffee. I got a little message on Instagram. One of the one of the people that works in marketing have been watching my videos and really enjoys my videos. And they invited me down to We Coffee in São Paulo to come and have a little sample of some of their foods. So yeah, we're going to We Coffee today, and I'm gonna go there and check out what this cafe is all about because I've been seeing it on social media. The food looks exquisite. I don't use that word very often, but I have to use it on this occasion because just look at this food. It just looks extremely different. Now here's the thing, it looks good, it doesn't taste good. That's what we're gonna find out today. So we are going to head down to an area called Jardins in Sao Paulo, which is known for its very stylish restaurants, very stylish bars, cafes. So it seems like it's very appropriate for this place to be situated in Jardins. And today I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my finest food tasting palette out as possible and test out some of these foods. So let's go check it out. surprise in that it has um, some little uh, tapioca balls at the bottom I didn't expect that I, I wasn't expecting that I should have known from the name bubble shake Damn, you can't take it away from me it has tapioca balls in the bottle you know like a uh, bubble tea I approve so Oro Branco shake which I really want to try because I love it Oro Branco is one of my favorite chocolates but just look at that it has a little Oro Branco right there I didn't think I, I would want to um, eat all of this, but right now. So good. Tummy cum. We're going to tummy cum. Reaction. Jesus. Jesus is the reaction. Yeah, it tastes ridiculously good. It's not too sweet. It's like. Sometimes like the, the, the white chocolate milkshakes can be a little bit sweet. So next guys we have the latte chidema soup. Look at that. Ah, it looks beautiful. Tiramisu is one of my favorite desserts, so I'm excited for this one. Interesting. That's different. It's, it's kind of like an iced latte. In my opinion, I think the Ordo Blanco shake is, is the one winning for me right now. I'm not sure about Tammy's reaction on this one. Ice coffee, basically. If you like ice coffee, then that is the one to go for. Udo Blanco Shake is the name. Oh, yeah, a cheat. So this is a salty cream blueberry shake. This is good. This is completely different to the other ones. A lot more fresh. Prefer fruity, not so much sugar. This is the one. Fruit, you know? So for me, the winner of the shakes, Auto Bike. Now we've done the drinks, we're gonna move on to the food. 
this right here. We're going to start with Hong Jialio, and this one's quite famous. It's been it's been going around on social media. Apparently, everyone's been talking about. It. So let's test it out. Here it is. Here, looking like a work of art. Look at that. It looks beautiful. Oh, that was interesting. Different, very different. I did not expect that. It's kind of sweet. There's a lot of things going on right now. Okay, Tommy's gonna have a go. Bye. Bye. Pull a bit off. I like that. Interesting. <laughs> what do you think? It's kind of like a sweet garlic taste. It's definitely very, it's different to anything I've had before. I thought I was expecting like savory completely. Look at that inside. Interesting, huh? Very interesting. It's like a sweet, creamy cheese. Very soft. It's like eating a cloud. The best way I'm gonna describe it is like eating a cloud. A garlic cloud with a bit of sugar on top. What's gonna be next? So this is known as the magic stick. The magic stick. It has grapes, it has some uvas, uvas on here. I'm gonna cut a little bit off to see how it is. Right now, my stomach is getting quite full. I'm gonna have to degrease on the portions. I don't know what to expect here. I don't know what I'm tasting. That's matcha, a taste of matcha, matcha tea. Tammy loves matcha tea, so this could be a good one. I approve. Kind of like a, just a, a, a buttercream. The, the, the dough is made with matcha. In the grapes, I don't really add much. You can't really taste them too much. You can definitely taste the matcha, which is it's a good taste. I, I like matcha. Let's see what the reaction is. Good, no? Proof. No? No, me either. We approve. Thumbs up on the magic stick. <laughs> I approve. Yes! Yes! This one's my favourite dessert out of the two so far. Ever since I went onto the Instagram of, of We Coffee, this one always caught, caught my attention. It is called the Soft Bun Crisp Pearl. I even have the great name to go with it. I'm not going to cut myself a piece. I'm just going to go straight in. That is in there. That is delicious. That is living up to all of the expectation. That bread right there. That is delicious. Hanging over. What's the reaction? Big old. Same palavas from Tommy. The bread is like super soft. Exactly what it says. It's too good to be true, huh? I want to take this home. I'll take this home with me, this one. I don't think I'm going to eat for the rest of the day. After many snacks, we still have some remaining, so I've got to do the best I can to finish these. And this one's caught my attention here. Olo Marango. This kind of little uh, injection of strawberry liquid right here. Look at that. How cool is that? I am a fucker for these kind of things. Let's, uh, let's try it out. I'm gonna go cut this up. I don't wanna see the mess I am making in this place right now. Uh, I don't know what to expect here. I expect something strawberry like soft. That is soft. Yeah. That's so soft. Let's try it out. Mm. That's good. I'm running out of space in my stomach. <laughs> Very soft, huh? All these foods are incredibly good, I have to say. I, I am just running out of space. Here we have Olia Aki. What is this called? Cereja, which we call cherry in English. It's just this. Different. It's a little bit more chewy, this one. A bit more crunchy. Not so soft. Not sure if I would buy this one myself. It's a lot going on. It's heavy. Very heavy. 
Huh? Tummy approves. Kind of a little bit heavy for me. A little bit heavy. Very croissant vibes here. Yeah. I like this one. This one is simply named Opera, and it has a little a little music note here. Let's go for it. Uh, do this approach right here. I like that. <laughs> Quite surprised, very soft, delicious, speechless at this point. It's like a kind of a coffee flavour, coffee flavour, dark chocolate, a little bit of caramel in there. It's nice. I mean, it's not too big either. It's a cute little, that's a cute little snack. <laughs> Tammy's looking fatigued. Not sure. I approve. Okay, guys, the last one. I don't think I could possibly fit any more stuff inside my stomach right now. I am complete. A meal, folios, folios, folios. Now I learned something recently because I was baking some stuff in Brasilia around Christmas time and I had to buy a type of pastry which is called folio, folia, foliada. And this is that exact type of pastry. It's layers, no? Foliada is layers. So I learned a new word and this is called a million layers. And you can see why, right? because it has a lot of layers, just right there, like that. Completely a, a blob of something right there, which I don't know what it is. I think I'm gonna go for the knife and fork approach here, because it looks very fragile. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm gonna have to go out there, it's a good old fork fork. Very good. It has a slight citrus, I think lime, a bit of a lime flavour going on. That is good. I like that. I approve. Cream is important. <laughs> very dangerous. Yeah, the folias, the little flakes, they taste very like um, kind of caramel, but they're tasty. Very good. And the cream inside is, I'm not sure exactly what flavour it is, maybe it's vanilla. But it tastes a little bit citrusy. I'm gonna go with this one. This this thing, as you can see, was my one of my favorites. The soft bun crisp pearl is the one I rate the highest. That in there is just so good, and the bun is super soft. Clearly, Tommy's favorite is the folias, the meal folias, because you're still eating it <laughs> after all these snacks. We're still going. So now we need to go on a huge walk across Sao Paulo. We need to burn all these calories that we just said. It was worth it though. I'll talk to you back at the house because I'm done here. So, 14,000 steps. So, We Coffee is a very interesting place. It's a very aesthetic and visually pleasing place. That's including the interior, right up until the coffees, the drinks they make and the food they make. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing, the food is also very good. It's the kind of place that, you know, you should go for an occasion, go with friends. It's something to enjoy with other people because the cakes and the drinks there are very unique. Something that is good to share with a friend. I personally really enjoyed the experience and all of the things that were made tasted fresh as if it was made with fresh ingredients. And it's something that's something it's something that's quite different to what you usually get in Brazil. I have to say Muito, muito obrigado for inviting us down to Wee Coffee and letting us try all those different things. Somewhere along the line, the message got out that I love food <laughs> and um, they kindly invited me down there. So, yeah, I appreciate it and all the food was very good, nice. I enjoyed it a lot. If you enjoyed the video, go down there and check it out. But for now, guys, Akabo.